Girls Club, my name is Anthony Murphy. I am an actor, director, choreographer, voice teacher. I know, it's a lot. I'm busy. <laughs> and I'm here today to talk to you a little bit about arts education, how important it's been to my life and how um, meaningful it is and how important it is if this is something that you want to do. So first for my life, you know, I, early on in the first grade, I was actually classified as a trouble student. Um, my teacher said that I was a nuisance in class and they wanted to medicate me. My parents saw that that wasn't the answer and decided to transfer me to a performing arts elementary school in my city. When I got there, I was exposed to the arts, all kinds, performing, visual, dancing, singing, acting, instruments, piano. We had a steel drum band. And it was there that I started to thrive. It was there that they said that I, they wanted to put me in the gifted program because I was excelling so much in all my courses. And just, I was, they were so happy to have me in this school. Um, so it really changed what was going to be my life, you know, me changing that school. Uh, later on, I continued in the arts, went to the Performing Arts Middle School, continued on, did my first leading role, Mr. McAfee in Bye Bye Birdie, got a standing ovation. I said, oh no, that's me forever and ever, amen. So I told my parents I wanted to go to the Performing Arts High School, the Pinellas County Center for the Arts. And they said, are you sure? Because if that's what you do, that means you're going to try to go to college for it. And like, you really want to do this. And I was like, y'all, I really want to do this. So they said, yes, I auditioned. I was accepted and I went to the Performing Arts High School. Uh, there I was in too many shows to count, but it is there where I really honed my craft in those four years. And it wasn't even in the four years at school, but it was in the summer in between those four years. Every summer between those four years, I did uh, summer intensives. So they started with the Rutgers Summer Acting Conservatory that I went to. It's a six week, I believe, program. Um, amazing pre-college program that was in a huge crash course introduction to for me to acting by itself in the singular form because before that I had only really done musicals. We didn't do a lot of straight plays at school. Um, we did a couple, but uh, my main focus was musical theater. So this was just breaking down the basis of acting and that was my first introduction to that. That's when I say I first started learning how to act was when I went to that program, started learning. Um, late, the next year I went to the Broadway Theater Project, started by Anne Ryan King, a Fosse dancer, and um, uh, Deb McWaters, also a Fosse dancer. And they started this huge, amazing program, brought all these Broadway professionals in, and it's super dance heavy. So there, I was honing my dance craft. I mean, we were in three to four dance classes a day, five days a week, plus singing and acting classes, plus we were doing a showcase at the end, so we were rehearsing. That's where I really learned the work ethic, you know, the, really the work of it. Then the next year, I went to the TAP program in DC with the Boys and Girls Club. Thing. And uh, it is there that I learned to create, you know, it was really a playful place where we could create art. We were making these pieces and working with uh, the Juilliard students that were in such a immersive art. And it was just amazing and, and wonderful. And, and you didn't have cell phone service because you're in the woods. So it was like really just focusing on creating the art and honing the craft and really what that took and what that meant. And that is why I ended up later on creating my vo voice studio called The Work Studio. And I call it The Work Studio because for me, the turning point from having a craft to having a career is the work. There are many people who are talented who can sing, act, and dance. But to have a career, you have to do the work. To be the best, you have to do the work. It's not necessarily you were gifted the better talent, it's you did the work, you put in the effort and the drive that you needed to do to uh, reach the goals that you wanted to reach, you know? So 
that's what I say. My main point is do the work. What does that look like? That looks like looking up your local arts programs, looking up your Boys and Girls Clubs, seeing if they have any type of arts programs, looking up different summer programs you can go to if you're an actor like me. I've already given you two, Rutgers Summer Acting Conservatory and the Broadway Theater Project. There's another one, the Performing Arts Project. There's the Arts Conservatory for Teens. There are many programs around the country, and now that we've gone into this virtual world, there's so many more programs virtually that you can uh, that you have access to. So really, if this is what you want to do, I strongly suggest that you put in the work and you do the training. You focus now, because if you do the work now, when you're my age, it's going to be so much easier. Oh, my goodness. You're just going to be flying by. All your peers are going to be like, how does he know how to do all that? You're just doing this and moving and shaking and working and doing all the things. And you're going to know because you've put in the work at an early age. So my advice to all of you is to remember to always do the work and enjoy the work. I personally think rehearsal is the best part of any show. It is the hardest part because that's where you're building the show and putting it together, but it is the most fun you will ever have um, creating art um, in that room. So create as much art as you can. Sing every day if you're a singer. Dance every day if you're a dancer. Act every day if you're an actor. If make art every day. Do it. Um, that's the only way to get better at it is by doing it every day. Um, and thank you so much for having me. I know. I don't know what else to say. I think that's it. I think I've talked enough. All right. Thank you so much. I'm probably going to put a little outro video. Play it. You ain't never had a friend. Never had a friend.